When it comes to video production, the best way to create high quality content is to produce really clean and professional looking shots that will look elegant, precise and beautiful to the eye of the viewers. And the perfection is often in the details that can distinguish a low quality immature from a professional and successful YouTube channel. <laughs> So what's up guys, Fabria and welcome to Shades of Tech. In the last couple of years I've been editing my YouTube channel videos on my powerful iMac late 2013, upgrading in the last year to a video 4K quality. In this video I'm gonna be showing you the best plugins for growing your YouTube channel that I wish I knew when I originally started editing. Those one are, in my opinion, the best value addition to your editing setup that can completely change the appearance and how your videos are seen by your public. So, I team up with Motion VFX to bring you the best top 5 Final Cut Pro plugins that will improve your video editing results a lot. I leave their website link and all the plugin lists in the description, some of them are also free, so be sure to check it out for more information. I consider this to be the first episode because those five are just the best looking and simplest one I could think of, but if you like this series I can include more plugins in the next episode. So let me know with a big like. The reason why I have chosen this company is very simple. When it comes to editing, the time is essential for productivity, so the secret is to find a good balance between the result you get and the time you spend. And Motion VFX products are the perfect combination. They pack an extremely easy to use editing approach with simple just drag and drop overlay with tons of customization. And the result that from an aesthetical point of view are objectively stunning. And bonus addition, the contents are all 4K ready for those of you, including myself, that use this video resolution. Also, the installation is handled very, very well with the M Installer tool that will flawlessly help you to handle the plugin installed and active and not active and all the licenses on your Macs. And if you have multiple Macs, it's really handy. When it comes to video, the first and simplest thing to do to improve the look of your shots is color grading. This is a very important step because it will add a cinematic look and make look your clips movie grade. Well, color grading can get a little bit tricky and so if you are a beginner I advise you to start to become familiar with LUTs. If you don't know what a LUT is, basically it's a preset of colors that is applied to any clip and can transform the look. An example is teal and orange. There are tons of different LUTs provides from different companies Motion VFX also has different cinematic LUTs libraries. The choice of the look is highly personal and for me also depends on the atmosphere you want to create and to communicate in the video. But the problem with regular Final Cut Pro 10 is that there is a LUT effect applier, but it's very messy because you have to select individually each LUT to try it. So I really recommend you the MLAT plugin version 2.0 which is free to download by the way. I like it because it has few LAT presets included so it's a nice addition and you can try them and makes you preview all the LAT library in one place and also you can select your favorite one with a star so you don't have to remember each time the ones you usually use and when you have a lot of them, it's very helpful. It's very simple to apply to the clip, just select it in the effect browser, MLAT and drag and drop on the clip. And it's also easy to import the new LUT and to see all the library. And then you have total control on the customization. I personally like the Sedona LUT that adds some kind of teal and gold look. When it comes to YouTube especially, smaller channels are very very focused on the subscribe or the like count. 
As far as I'm concerned, I think it is necessary to remember to people to join the channel and support, but I find myself uncomfortable and I think that constantly asking for support may ruin the videos and what I want to communicate with my audience. What if there was some way to graphically invite people to action without actually saying it many times? Well, actually there is, and it's called Entuber 2. It is a very complete plugin pack, because it includes tons of buttons for social networking, some intros, templates and screen templates, a few titles and even a high dropper. So I can invite people to interact with me showing all the reference with beautiful animation or just lay down them during all the duration of the video and obtrusive calls to follow me on Twitter, like pictures, on Instagram and so on. And the coolest part for me is that you can create presets that work for you, customize them one time and just copy and paste in all new project videos like the intro or the outro, saving a ton of time. I know because I tried to build tools like this myself, but they are very time consuming and not customizable at all. I also created my new intro in few clicks and it looks very, very professional. So if you watched my last video, iPad Pro versus MacBook Pro, you will notice them in the intro, in the end screen and along with the best scenes. The possibilities are huge and the limit is just your imagination. We are a tech channel and one of my favorite plugins is called Encalout Specs. It helps you create minimal looking callouts with all the tech specification and with a beautiful motion tracking technology. It is highly customizable with icons and colors and backgrounds and text. You could do motion tracking with other techniques like with keyframing or using motion, but I tried both and I can assure you that you will lose a lot of time with very poor results. Once you have chosen the template, for example about the iPad Pro screen, just drag on the timeline, adjust the length and position at the beginning of the video. When you are happy, just click track and it will automatically track the point along the moving shots. It is a very CPU intensive task, indeed, and the duration of the process depends on the length of the video, on the frame rate and especially on the CPU of your Mac. But it's totally worth it and the looked after processing is just mind blowing. There is also another plugin that is less specific, not especially for tech, and it's called Encalout Simple. It is very good, for example, for drone footage as well. So far we talked about colors, interactive contents, callouts, and now it's time to talk about transitions. I love the end transition Luma because it's very simple, easy to use, it is free and is a very elegant evolution of the classic cross dissolve that is a little bit outdated nowadays. There is not much to say, just drag and drop between two clips and adjust the duration. The customization is very high and for a free transition you can create different sets according to the scenes. And the last but not the least, and Vertigo. It helps to improve your zooming shots, creating a sort of distortion that you can control and I love it, I think it, it's very interesting. It's very good for outdoor transition or sea and beach scenes and it adds a sense of magic to the movement. So that wraps up for today. There are many other very good plugins that I want to talk to you about. So if you want to see them, drop a very big like or a dislike if you didn't like this video and be sure to subscribe. And as always, stay tuned on Shades of Tech. Ciao!